as I end another year in honor, love, pride, and appreciation of service to community and nation, I give thanks to God for his grace and mercy, for the strength, courage, and will to serve the wonderful people of the New South and the nation at large. Thanks for your love, guidance, encouragement, and patience which helped me forge ahead, forge ahead as your humble servant. In terms of challenges and adversity in particular, the support and love of my constituents, family, friends and well-wishers give me the fundamental optimism, hope and confidence to keep serving you with conviction and renewed purpose. I also want to thank the Almighty for sparing our island from the wrath of Hurricane Irma and Mariah this year. As so many of our neighbors experience these devastating storms, let us in our prayers remember all those who are still suffering from these calamities and might not, en and might not enjoy a Christmas as they would have liked. My people, my vision for my constituency of Genesis South is to upgrade the village to a town. We have just witnessed the commission of the infant school. This was my dream of forming a school complex hub which takes a student educational journey from kindergarten to secondary school. My intention is to fence and secure all our school premises in the constituency. Continue with our road rehabilitation project paving of all the village roads and the upgrading of all our sporting facilities in Benin South. To the delegated staff of the Department of Youth Development and Sport, thanks for your hard work and commitment to the youth of our nation. This year, for your hard work and commitment, we witness our athletes' tremendous performance at the Commonwealth Games in the Bahamas with St. Lucia's Julian Alfred winning the 100 meters goal, and our football team also winning goal. The department have increased coaching support and there is more awareness in the local community. In 2018, we will encourage or we will engage in numerous youth and sports initiatives that will revolutionize the nation's sport infrastructural development programs designed to meet global standards of competitiveness. As a government, we hold dear and true that our youth reflect the best in us as a nation and people, and that our greatest potential, triumph and resolve embodies our youth as the trustees of our posterity, our hopes, our dreams, and our joys. This time of year has a special and unique way of bringing family and friends, young and old, community and church together. It helps us appreciate the love in our lives we can often take for granted. I sincerely urge you, all of you, to open your hearts and minds and let the gift of love, the gift of peace, and the gift of happiness to be the gift that we give to each other. Happy holidays. Have a merry, merry Christmas and best wishes to all St. Lucians at home in the diaspora and all over the world. Wishing you joy and peace in this season of celebration and a healthy and productive 2018.